Uh, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Let's Play Mountain Blade Warband Prophecy of Pendor 3.7. No, 3.3930, I guess it is. Worshippers, no, we leave those alone at the moment. We are trading today. There are several trade routes that you can use. The Avenor, um, the Yavaxholm with flax is very good. There is one with salt in the Dasha area. And there is one with um, Fjord, if I remember it rightly. So they're different, um, very good trading routes. This guy is a high level Noldor that you can recruit. That is a low level human you can recruit. But we're more interested in you. Do you know anything? No, of course not. Okay, marketplace. I want to sell. Oh, yeah, beautiful. Beautiful. That's nearly doubled what we bought it in for. Iron prices, wool prices, no, 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 but we want an enterprise. Oh, Duke Brennus, that could is a problem. Yeah, Duke, Duke Brennus hates us. Now, we could go and do jobs for him um, to rise in his um, relation and then be able to build an enterprise there, but we'll do that later on because that takes time and we want to build our enterprises as fast as possible so that they give the most... Um, coin possible. We're not hunting, hunting bandits, hunting bandits, although we could, because it takes a lot of time and it is not a very rewarding. If we do that right in circle, waste my lifetime thing, then we're doing it against um, high level guys. No use. Phoenix the Dicket. Sadly, we have no Quartus gem. You know nothing. You know nothing. These are people that we can recruit. Are there any good trade goods? Wool? Uh, no. Arms? Only significantly better than the one I'm using, so no. Is there anything else we can do? Yes, we can build ourselves an enterprise. That's what we're here for. Uh, how about heights? 310, that is pretty bad. 541, that is pretty good. We'll take that. Good. Um. Wait a minute, what was that? Knights of the Dragon. Yeah, we'll leave those alone. There are not hostiles. Boris the Raven. Ooh. That is a unique spawn that we leave alone. <laughs> At least at the moment. Um, it's not quite our size at this point. Robbers, yeah, we could, but no. Tavern. Farmers with a quest. Frederick of Mettenheim. Town tax that we can recruit. Nothing here for us. We don't have the coin to buy another enterprise. We could buy the Melantine Arrows, but we will not. Um, we're not interested into any armor. Hmm. We could go back hunting bandits, or uh, carry raiders, but I think we should see a little bit the world. This is a let's play anyway. So, let's have a look around. Bandits, they're fleeing. I would do so too, because those guys are dangerous. They're, um, ooh. Barad Bahadur Khan, you're in trouble. Now, what we could do, theoretically, is join the fight and take him prisoner. We could absolutely do that and get a ton of coin out of this. Oh, look at that. Inquisition. They have horsemen and they have mercenary crossbowmen. The mercenary crossbowmen are the problem here. This could be dangerous. A lot of trees, sir. A lot of trees. The sword will be of no use. They have horsemen. That is, I think, a Dashar horse. That might be fast enough to catch us. But our biggest problem at this point is to keep moving to keep those crossbowmen under control. They are the problem. 
They are capable. Don't ever underestimate those crossbowmen. Yeah, these guys are not our problem. Our problem are the crossbowmen. As long as there are trees, that means there is room to maneuver. When the trees end, you know that the battlefield ends. And we don't want to run into any battlefield edges as long as there are um, guys with horses and lances behind us. Now, theoretically speaking, this is the best possible loot available to us. Because those guys are uh, better in experience and loot than the Vents Carry Raiders will ever be in their lifetime. However, there is a problem with that. And this are this crossbowmen here. They are using siege crossbows, which is a big difference to the normal crossbows you see the bandits using. These are mercenary crossbowmen. This is military. And the difference cannot be underestimated. They're a lot better at shooting and they can hit moving targets. And their mercenary horsemen are armed with ranged weapons as well. Normally throwing weapons, axes and stuff like that. And that's dangerous as well. The only relatively good thing here is that these crossbowmen are so well trained that they're using their ammunition up extremely fast. However, one hit, ladies and gentlemen, one hit is more than enough to take us out or to take our horse out. We have 44 hit points at this point. 44. They do about 110 damage per shot. Yeah, do your math. Yes, the armor deducts, I don't know, 40 points if they don't hit the head. So, still we're dead. And just look at this incredible firing speed they have. Wait a minute. This guy has a Dashar Raider. In theory, he might be fast enough to catch us. Good, now he's not. No longer. I'm not sure if it was a Dashar Raider, but it is possible that it was one. And a Dashar Raider is faster than our horse, or at least as fast as our horse is. Our horse has a curing speed of 46, a Dashar um, cruiser, or no, cru is it cruiser? No, cruiser is a ship type. Well, you, you courier? I don't know. Well, the Dashar thing. Uh, their horses are extremely fast. There is a spirited version that brings us uh, brings me to suffixes. Um, there are lordly and fine and whatever suffixes that gives you bonuses to your weapons, shields, armor, horses, whatever. And there is one, I think it's spirited, which makes the har horse harder to ride, but faster. Please keep in mind that no matter how good your riding skill is, um, you cannot outrun a faster horse with a slower horse um, up to a certain point. So if you've got a lame saddle horse, you will not outrun um, a Dashar horse, even though you're theoretically uh, a perfect rider with riding 10. That will not save you. We should always look at the enemy because that is where our shield is facing. And of course, we want our shield to be facing the enemy. Maybe if they hit us, the shield can take one. The shield will not immediately break because it has 480 shit, uh, shit points, but um, it will most likely break pretty soon. Use your ears. Your ears tell you when the enemy has stopped fighting, firing entirely. You can see that some of the horsemen are not engaging us directly, not hunting us directly. That is because they're equipped with ranged weapons, presumably, presumably throwing axes or spears. Mercenary horsemen do not use crossbows or bows, as far as I know.
There is another problem though. Are we absolutely super sure that the enemy has no ranged fighters left? Then we can try to make closer circles to get the enemy uh, horsemen to throw their lot at us. Yeah, you, you, did you hear that? If you have your sound on, and I hope you do, because what am I talking for if you're not listening? Um, Well, maybe we should use the fact that they're not all together here. The problem are the trees. Uh, that is not the most perfect fighting ground for us. I'm not even sure we have enough arrows to kill all the horses and while it is theoretically possible to kill horses with um, crossbows is it is unlikely to work crap and now I'm getting problems with my mouse. Perfect. Excellent timing for something like that. I could let them come a little bit closer, although I'm hesitant to that. Because while I'm hitting better, I'm increasing the chances that if I make a mistake, they will catch on me. And do not underestimate those guys. Those are professional killers. Oh crap, he's close. And someone is throwing their lot at us. Out the shield. And my mouse stopped working great. Uh, how many? There's three of them. We should replenish arrows. Oh, that was close. Closer than I like it for sure. How many arrows do we have left? Um, a few. They still have a lot of throwing stuff, as it seems. If we can take care of the horses, the three remaining horses, this all will not be that hard to win. We're not getting overly... Um... Oh crap, that is a Dashar horse. Can you see that? One of them is riding a Dashar horse, at least by the color. If it looks like sand, it's Dashar. Well, a horse is not a very good platform for ranged weapons, to say the very least. Now, yes, we could try to do... Um, ranged fights on them um you know dock fights on them this is bad this is not going as planned this guy is a lot more dangerous Oh, crap. Good work. So there is 
two left. One left or two left? I think it's two. We can do this. Should we do... Oh boy. He's stuck with his horse. That's good for us because that means he's spending more ammunition. There is not a lot left. There cannot be a lot left of them. The question is, do we have enough um, arrows left to kill all those guys? Come on. Oh, one of them is obviously out of arrows, uh, out of throwing stuff. Great. However, I have the feeling that his horse is not the fastest. Oh, but we're shooting like dead dugs, are we? Come on, you can do this. Good. Okay, I have to stop the recording for a moment, so give me a second. I try to get some distance. And we're back. Uh, where is the enemy? There. He still has some ranged weapons. Sorry I was needed elsewhere. Oh, he's out. Good, good, good. Ah, I'm a little bit off the flow. I'm not sure I have what it, take, what it takes to take this guy down now, but I will give it my best shot, literally. Good work. So now everyone is down, right? Right, so. Okay. Oh, I cannot afford to waste any ammunition, can I? This guy is, although not well, I should. I should take the crossbow now. Keep the arrows. I'm not sure I have enough crossbows though. A uh, bolts. Yeah, we might fall short. Not every shot will be a kill. Forty twenty seven. Okay, we still have some. Let's see how good these guys are in taking damage. Wowtsies! Apparently they're quite capable. Two hundred and sixteen XP per guy. That's an awful lot. And that's not even their leaders, that's their normal forces. We'll let them come closer. We're, we're low on ammunition anyway. The good thing about this crossbow fighting style is that you're putting yourself not as much as risk as with the bow, because with the bow you normally let the enemy get very, very close because it's such an inaccurate weapon. But this is... Quite okay-ish in my eyes. Quite okay-ish. Ah, crap. They've got a lot of shields. There is an entire army with shields coming my way. 345 for a war priest. That is impressive as well. Um, we will not pursue anyone who's fleeing. 
because everyone that flees is ammunition that we save and we've only got 70 shots with our crossbow left and I've got the bad feeling that we'll run out of bolts before we run out of enemies do not forget what we see here is not the main force the main force are the guys with the shields and they are a lot harder to kill ah aim too high shame and we cannot do the shield trick with guys that are uh, with a crossbow doing the shield trick with the crossbow is i would not say impossible but close to impossible or extremely hard and i think these guys are good with the shield so they will not fall for the good old um shoot at the leg trick did we kill that guy ah crap missed but if i aim too low If I aim too low, we're not gaining anything. Okay, let's find out how good they are with their shields. Ah, did miss. Okay, they're not that good with their shields. At least the mercenaries are not. Wait, this guy is using... Oh, no, these are mercenaries as well. But we're doing relatively little damage, though. And we're missing too often. The only good thing is that I have to assume that the guys with the shields are not their highest warriors. The good thing is with a crossbow you don't have to aim all the time. Or you're not losing any accuracy by aiming for a long time as with a bow. If they run, they run. We do not care. We do not let ourselves get caught. Wow, you're different from the others. I don't know what you are, but you're different. You are a lot more capable with your shield, sir. And you're armed different as well. Oh, yes, you are. It looks like your your head is above your shield quite a lot, but then again it is not. Hmm. I think I should try to kill the normal swordsman first. Like this. Yeah, they're good with their shields as well. Should I risk it? I think it's too dangerous. And I don't think I can break their shields. Hmm. This is a very dangerous maneuver I'm pulling here. Really not a friend of that. Look at the numbers. We either do this or we give up. And I'm not giving up for sure. Is that a wise maneuver? Sure as hell not. We shot the wrong guy. I'm pretty sure these guys are so good with their weapons that one shot is all they need. This guy in particular is... 
mercenary armored crossbow. You are an armored crossbow man with that shield. That's rather hard to believe, sir. Maybe if I get them a little bit closer. Yeah, they look like they're running. But they're not. He will come back. This is a risky maneuver we're doing here. That is not wise. Not even a bit. Chances that they get us this way are extremely high because if I run in a tree on this distance, I will not be able to compensate at any sort or form. Oh no, he already turned back. You will be the first to reach. Beautiful. Boy, are that many! Look at the numbers! We're down to 30 bolts. And there are definitely more than a 30 of those guys there. Well, at least I guess I have got the heavily armored guys down. Actually, this is unnecessary because, yeah, he's after me again. They're all after me again. Oh boy, you are hard stuff, sir. Well, there's just the mercenaries left, as it seems. And I will have to stop after this recording immediately, because I have to go to bed. <laughs> um. so late you would not believe it but I want to finish this you deserve it and I deserve it we all deserve this victory this was a lot of work and it will not be ruined hopefully so the horsemen are giving more than the oh crap the horsemen are giving more than the um, crossbowman, obviously, which makes sense. Ah, every time I think they run and then they don't. It's the old trick, the oldest trick in the book. But they're now, oh crap. That was awfully close, I might say. Awfully close. And he's got some kind of spearish thing. I think I should get my bow out and finish them off with the bow. These guys are not that well armored. Is he running? No, he's not. Why am I always thinking that they run? They will not run. These guys have numeral superiority, don't they? But I always think they run. What am I maneuvering around now? Okay, let's... Don't lose nerve. I shot the wrong guy. I missed. This one was good. One is running. Is he really running? No, he's not. Didn't I say I do not follow anyone who's running? Because it makes no sense. If they run, let them run because we're low on ammo. I'm too greedy, that's my problem. 
It is with all games, I'm always a greedy person. Look at that. They're after us. Just try to think. You are angry, sir. Don't really see the point why you're so angry, but you are definitely angry. There are only four of them left. Good. I think he was running. I should get the bow out. That was a miss. I'm down to five arrows. There uh, five bolts. They're down to three men. Another miss. I'm really missing a lot. Okay, now you're down to two. They're down to one. We can make this. We play our cards. We can make this. And we did level up two points into we could put two points into uh, intelligence that would put us to 11 which will not help us anything so we'll put them into here increase our prison management and prison management I've got a plan done oh boy we won. We got 55 renown. We killed every last one of them. And the armor is... Boo. Slightly better than mine. Well, these boots are better than mine. The Dashar Cruiser. It's a little bit better armored. Does more charge damage. The speed is the same. The steel bolts are perfect. Um, this is close. We'll take the bolts because I like the bolts a lot. Stray back, we can heal that one. A lame the shark cruiser, the shark cruiser. If we take the horses first and heal them. We could really make a small fortune with that. I was, I'm, I'm really honest, I was hoping for a lot better armor. I was hoping for um, plate armor. This is all not that good. 39 to 12, 14 to 13. That's disgusting. And we're already overloaded. Great. Yeah, we don't need any of you. But we got 4,423 experience and 4,000 denaries. 4,000 denarii, ladies and gentlemen. That puts us at 5,915, together with the loot, that will help a lot. And we're extremely close to level 15, which puts our charisma up to 18, which will give us trade um, 6. That could even mean we should kill just one more little group to get the experience to level up. But we'll see about that next time. Until then, bye!